Good day, Lord. Today we're welcome back to Battle Brothers. Did a bit of reading up. Um, there's no. I, I I thought there was a renown requirement for the best ending, but I may be incorrect. Um, well, first off, let's just have the day pass and see what work we have, since there's no more vampires and stuff running around. Grave robbers. Yeah. Okay. Accept the contract. I take it to this place up here. Yeah. So him, the darkness, he gets converted. We'll quickly take care of this job. And then we'll make a decision about what happens next. Let's see, kill them all. Engage. But no, been through the late game crises. Um, but it didn't say... It didn't say um, you need, there was an RP uh, reputation requirement. Um, I thought there was, though. I thought it was like 6,000 or something. Um, so what I'll do just in case, cause we've got to this point. It seems a bit of a shame for our guys not to get their happy endings. Now comes the mercs. Very well armed for grave robbers, but they are treasure hunters more than grave robbers. Kill him. Pierce his hand. Everyone get to formation. And now I no longer have to worry about the undead rising up. This is one of the, one of the things I do do during the undead, undead crisis. Or fallen empire, or return. What's it? I think I just call it the undead crisis because it's basically you're fighting the undead. But I think it's like um, fallen empire event or crisis. Um, during the undead crisis, I don't tend to fight humanoid factions because obviously they don't fight the bandits and stuff because obviously they just come back as zombies, which is just bad in my books. Um. So, yeah, I don't tend to do a lot of bandit fighting if I can help, because all it does is help the undead. Okay. I've got to wait a turn for their line to engage with a bit more force. And then we will push on. Ah, they're fighting rather hard. Congratulations. Just got to nullify some of their range support. Yep. One more turn and we're going to charge. Um, I have liked playing the cultists. Thematically, they're very interesting. Some of the mechanics are a bit dodgy. Ooh, you actually managed to hit my guy. That's not nice. I mean, I'd hate to lose one of my men. Was it you? You was, wasn't it? Go away. I'd hate to lose one of my like founding members right at the end of the campaign. Oh well, let's get to business. Time to take heads. But first, ban it up his neck. See, this is the thing I find like you can always tell that how strong or powerful a party is, yeah. Um, by how effective it's doing late game. And the thing is, like, this, like, I am in, uh, this is a late game group of people, and they are not that effective. It's predominantly the, it's predominantly the cultist start that doesn't give you particularly good stat growth. Um, a lot of your units are not really great for it, unfortunately. Um, it just is how it is. I still have loved playing. I still have enjoyed playing the Cultist background. Thematically, they are very interesting, but mechanic-wise, they are not the most enjoyable to play. Um, your rewards for doing it, for playing as them, is pretty underwhelming. 
Um, especially the fact is they have a sa the sacrifice mechanic is very damaging, especially late game compared to what you get out of it. Chop off his head. Congratulations. Let's see if we can get a shot past him. Nope. Okay. Hop here. But no. I mean, lore-wise, they're really fun. Mechanic-wise, they could do some improvements. They could do more events added to them. If we're being honest. Um, now we're running on the last guy. They're just not... The amount of commitment you have to make for the, to them, which is a lot, because obviously you have to sacrifice men and materials. It's not really worth the payout. Um, so, I don't know. Um, especially the fact is, like, at the end, like, their late game content is literally... You sacrifice a brother and get some okay armor. Um... It's... I've seen the stats for it. I wasn't overly impressed. And for that, you're supposed to give up, like, one of your... Like, you had to give up one of your best men. It's not something I think is a particularly good exchange. Right. I've got a ton of stuff I just never used. So, that mission... How much renown did that give us for doing that? Yeah, it wouldn't take us long to get to 600. So what I think I'm going to do is I am going to save just in case we don't get the best ending. And then if we don't get the best ending, we can just keep on playing. Um, but I want to see what happens. So let's retire. Having built the code of Colonel to a notable name, recognized the realms, the lords bid bid against one another for your service. Not only you so you'd fight for them, but so they'd work so they'd know at the very least you'd not fight against you. With the crown rolling in, the faith the company did well without you. It just seemed to be proper time to put your sword away. Unfortunately, okay, this is this is strange. I don't know why it's done this. Unfortunately, such popular comes a cost. The company kept fighting, failing, falling into wartime contracts. This is not okay. This is stupid. Do I need to have like 6,000 renown? I mean, I did the two last endgame crises. I I won the orc one and I won the undead one. So why am I getting this ending? I think I need to have the cultist um, command of cloaked convert. You don't know what came of him. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm not happy with that. We've, we've, we've been for a lot. The problem is I've read a lot of stuff on the wiki and everything, so... Do we have to get like 6,000 renown? Hold on, I just gotta go and check. Okay, I've looked into it. Um, it's, I think it's linked to your score, which is annoying. Which is that your score, your score, like renown and money and stuff affects your score, but the days you've been playing like decreases it. Which is a bit bump kiss, if you ask me. Um, so yeah, we predominantly have to. I think I I don't know if we get a better score, perhaps, because I was trying to get the best ending um, for my men, because I, I haven't had it in like a long time. And they thought it'd be nice to have this one. But I think it's a bit... I There are some things I dislike about this game. The fact the more the longer you play, the less your score is, is a bit unfair. Um, that one we have to get 10,000 for. There's rumoured of a cloth of beast that lurks in the swamp. We can't do that. Yeah, fine. Let's... Good feigned weapon, sealed armor, and helmet. Why not? What's here? 
let's get it. Because... Yes, let's just run away. I must admit, I'm not particularly interested in... I just want to try and get the nice ending, like the Lever Legacy ending. Um, because otherwise it feels a bit hollow for everything we've put in. I was also expecting a... a without lying, I was expecting a, a nicer ending. I thought you'd get like unique endings for the starts. That's what I was hoping. Um, so I am a bit disappointed. Why are you going this way? The AI is doing really weird stuff. I must admit, I'm not particularly happy with the fact that I've... What are you doing? Is it stuck on a loop? I think the AI has gone a bit squiffy. But no, um, uh, that's going to be annoying. I wanted to have like leave a legacy because that's the best ending which is the most fitting because otherwise you just get the bittersweet ending where I don't like the bittersweet ending it's like oh you did one crisis but you still haven't got the best ending um yeah so I I don't know it's And I have a sword, we just need to get three bits of armor. I, uh, this is the thing I dislike about this game, which is that it doesn't actually make it very clear how you like get the best en endings. I know that you get the best ending for having completed two... No, I don't want to fight blinking vampires and junk. Um, I know that you get a good ending for completing two events. So that's what I did. I completed two events. I completed the Orc event and I completed the Undead event and I basically beat both of them. Clearly. Um, but there's something else at play and it's like, I, I'm not sure what it is, which is becoming a bit of a frustration. I think it might be my score which is annoying. I mean... We're going to try again and see what happens. Let's save. Yeah, we got it. Like... Um... This is... This is... I, I don't know what's going on. Which is really annoying. Um, uh, because I have done what the game has said that I have needed to do to get to leave a legacy. I don't know if it's score based. I wish they'd clarify exactly how this works because at the moment it's becoming a, a bit of an annoyance for me because I love this game. I play this game a lot. 
but by this point in its development they sort of really set down on their wiki and said this is how you get this is how the mechanics work this is how you get the endings because at the moment i have done what they've said which is to complete to win two dead game crises so i don't know if i mean you get six thousand renown or i'll have to look into it folks sorry about this it's just I wanted a nice ending, um, and I thought we'd got it, but apparently we haven't. Um, so we'll see, I'll see what uh, I had to look up and see what to do. Actually, um, until next time.